Gina Swoboda, Chairman, Chairwoman of the Arizona Republicans. Um, good morning. Thanks for coming on the show. So we've just seen there in the clips, um, all the rhinos are being flushed out and they're saying they're not going to vote. Yeah, my response, bring it on. Right. This is this is really what the, I think the Trump revolution is about. It's about America first, patriots, taking this party back and flushing all, all the pretend fake Chamber of Commerce, some, um, um, country club Republicans, flushing them out of the party. All they've done is grifted off the party for, for decades. Um, I was delighted to see your candidate, Carrie Lake, down in Arizona say uh, in an interview, I think it was with Punchbowl, um, they were trying to suggest, are you going to moderate, are you going to come to the centre? And she said, you know, I, I'm not moving my positions, and my positions are where the, the, the majority of Arizonans are. Um, what's, your, what's your take on this? On, 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 you know, are, are you, is Carrie going to be hit by all the, um, all, all the John McCain um, acolytes saying they're not going to vote for, for Trump or Vance? Is she, is she, is she going to be damaged by that down in Arizona? Thank you. So, so a couple of things uh, to unpack there. One, um, I would be shocked and it would be news if Mayor Giles actually endorsed a Republican. So that's number one. That that guy uh, has endorsed um, uh, Biden and Obama, and he apparently keeps the Republican brand on his voter registration, but he, he doesn't vote Republican based on his endorsements. The other two people in that clip, I mean, Sam Campana was was last in office as a mayor in Scottsdale in 2000, and the other person, Robin Shaw, hasn't been in office since 1998. So they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel to try to find uh, quote unquote Republicans um, that are supporting what is, as as you've discussed, uh, the, the most dangerously liberal ticket, I think, in history. I think this is a more liberal ticket than uh, McGovern uh, was right, so that's number one. Number two, I do not believe um, Giles. Again, one of the things he was saying at at what they're calling a sold out rally, but which of course was not open to the public, um, is that he doesn't recognize the party in Mesa, where he is the mayor. They are forcing girls to share bathrooms with boys. So perhaps what he thinks is is centrist, middle of the road policy is not where the American people are. So I think Carrie's um, a, a wonderful spokesman for the party and for the middle. We want everybody. I need every single person, no matter where you fall in the Republican Party spectrum. I don't think those people are indicative of Republicans at all. I, I don't think there's a person on the ground in Arizona, including the independents, including a lot of Democrats. They're the ones who don't recognize their party. If you looked at Bill Clinton's platform in 1992, uh, that's far closer to where the Republican platform is now than where the Democrat platform is. I mean, these the Overton window, you know, that we like to discuss has gone so far to the left for their party that I, I don't think people would recognize it that had run in in 92, in 94, in 96, in 98. So I think we're going to bring home um, the the people that were establishment Republicans. Listen, there's no runway left for this country. So if there are people who are like, well, I don't like this candidate and I don't like populism, so I'm just going to let it burn and walk away. I have a newsflash for them. Uh, you need to vote with us because Arizona lost the entire executive branch to basically uh, radical Marxists in the last cycle when they had an equipment malfunction in Maricopa. So if I lose the legislature out here, if we don't get President Trump back to close off that border, there ain't no coming back, baby. Uh, so they might, they better have another plan because uh, the plan is not going to be we're going to rebuild um uh, the moderate middle that won't exist if, if Biden gets uh, Biden and Kamala and these people get their way. Gina, just yes or no, then. So you're with me on this. Bring it on to, to the McCain retreats in Arizona. Bring it on, yeah. Where, where do, uh, well, where I, do I people... want to nuance that. I want to nuance that because, like, I recognize that there are people who who didn't uh, want to vote with us, okay, who were angry about the populist movement. But I need them to vote with us. I'm not interested in, in punching them in the face as much as I am in educating them and saying, how can you tell me you support the Republican Party platform and vote for this radical ticket? You can't have it both ways. Then just come out and say, I'm a Democrat. Uh, Gina, that's all we've got time for. Thanks for coming on the show. I, you know, we'll, we'll dig into this uh, uh, later on in the week. Thanks for coming on, Gina. God bless. Thank you.